China's staggering bride prices have been a recurring topic of conversation on Chinese social media over the past few years. And recently, it became a trending topic again when Chinese media channel K News went to a small village in Gansu province, which is one of China's poorest provinces, and exposed just how extreme the marriage market is there, with men desperate to get married and women being treated like empresses, demanding extremely high amounts of money to get married. A bride price is the amount of money paid for by the groom's family to the bride's family upon marriage. And although customs can vary from region to region, it is prevalent throughout China. But there's this growing trend since the 1980s that you see that in the least developed areas of China, the bride prices are the highest. And this is especially a problem in China's so-called bear branch villages. A bear branch is a man of a certain age who is still unmarried, a little bit like China's leftover women, but then these are the men. And bear branch villages are a direct result of China's one-child policy and its traditional preference for sons, which has caused a huge shortage of women. So what you see now in the countryside area is these villages where you have a lot of men who are looking for a wife, but not enough women, and the women that are left ask for huge amounts of money in order to be able to marry them because they can pick whoever they want. Um, And this is causing a huge problem because these men are not able to afford these bride prices. So how high is this bride price? Well, in Qingyang area in Gansu province, in the year 2000, they would pay around 3000 RMB, which is something like uh, 440 US dollars for the bride price on average. And now 17 years later, in 2017, the average bride price in this area varies between 150,000 to 200,000 RMB, which is between 20, 2,000 US dollars uh, up to 30,000 US dollars. But think that the men who work in this area on average only make 100 RMB per day, which is 14 US dollars per day. How could they ever afford a bride price of 30,000 US dollars? So what you see is that these men are complaining now that for them the bride price is unaffordable while these women sit in their houses and act like empresses. According to the article of K News, some women receive up to 30 men in their house. Every single day matchmakers bring young bachelors to their house and they can pick whoever they want, but more importantly, they can choose whoever pays the highest bride price. And it's not just the bride price that is the problem. Actually, the whole process for getting married in these Bear Branch villages is very time consuming and it costs a lot of money. The first stage is to get registered at a matchmaker's office. The second stage is to meet a girl and bring her gifts and make sure that the meeting goes well. Third stage, if all goes well, is to go on a date which the man has to pay. Or the fourth stage is that the bride's family will check out if the groom's house is in good shape and if the house and the furniture is good enough for their daughter and then the final stage is the negotiation of the bride price which is extremely tricky because asking a price that is too low could be really bad for the bride family they could become the scandal of the town if their bride price is too low if it's too high it's very probable that the groom cannot afford the bride price at all and that the marriage won't take place which is something that happens very often So you see, it's a whole ordeal and for many bare branches, getting married has simply become an unattainable goal. This is the topic of the day and see you next time at What's on Weibo.